Hi everyone, in today's lecture, we will be discussing an important concept in postal biomechanics, which can be asked as a short note question or a short essay question, which is the concept of postal control strategies. What are the strategies in which the body maintains its postural control? There are three types of strategies. One is an angle synergy strategy, one is a hip synergy and a combined synergy. We will be discussing this concept within 12 minutes in this short video. So pay attention and master this concept of angle, hip and combined synergy strategies which are very crucial in posture biomechanics. As, as I told you, we are going to discuss about three important strategies in posture control. One is an angle synergy, hip synergy and a combined synergy. So in the previous video, we had defined what is posture, where we know that posture is an alignment or an orientation of the body in space. So when the body is in space or when the body is aligned in an equilibrium, there are chances the posture may be affected. There are chances posture may be altered, such as there is small perturbation to friend or back, we lose our balance, etc. In those instances, we don't fall unless and until that perturbation is of a high one, high velocity one or a high impact one or with a high momentum. That is because the body has different mechanisms through which it senses that the postural control has been altered, such as the one which we discussed compensatory, anticipatory and different sensory motor controls, through which the body understands that the postural control has been altered and acts through different strategies which we are going to discuss now to control the posture, to control the equilibrium so that we don't fall. So when there is a small perturbation to the body, such as a push or a pull or a sudden vibrational change or a balance problem to the body, or when there is a postural sway, what do you mean by postural sway? Postural sway is defined as small, imperceptible motions which are occurring in the human body. Even if I am standing now, if I do a three-dimensional analysis of my standing motion, we can see that there are small amount of perturbation which are imperceptible, we cannot see happening in the body. So when such postural sway occurs, what happens is that body has its own strategy to control it. So that are this angle, hip and combined synergy strategies. So imagine a scenario in which there is a very small perturbation, very small postural say. So if the perturbation of postural sway is very small, then what happens is that body reacts or body incorporates its mechanism from the angle. So the reaction to that change happens starts from the angle. If it starts from the angle, it's known as angle synergy. So angle synergies occur when there is very small perturbation or very minimal postural same. So it happens from the angle, which is the proximal or distal part of the body, which is definitely the distal part of the body. So here, the mechanism starts from the distal part to the anterior part, proximal part, distal to the proximal part. So angle synergy is a synergy which starts when there is small perturbation. It starts from distal, that is the lower part of the body, comes to the, to the center of the body, that is to the proximal part. So that is the peculiarity of angle synergy. And here, as I taught, it starts from the angle. So the muscles in and around the angle will be activated first. So the muscles in the angle activate first, followed by muscles in the thigh region and followed by muscles in the trunk region. So there are three regions of activation which starts from the lowest one at the angle or the leg one to the thigh and then to the trunk. So the activation levels in an angle synergy strategy is from the distal to proximal one following in a sequence of angle followed by thigh and then followed by the trunk muscles get activated. So that is the angle synergy strategy. It can, it can be convert, compared to an, an inverted pendulum model. We know that the pendulum, it hangs from the top ceiling. A pendulum is hanging and it can move like this. 
imagine that it's 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 just the opposite that is the, the anchoring to the sea a pendulum or the pendulum starts from the lower part and the pendulum is moving here in the central part so similarly the anchoring or the the cornering or the starting or the trying region is in my angle and the body moves in and around the angle so that is not as the inverted pendulum model so angle synergy can be compared to as an inverted pendulum model let's take an example for your understanding so for example there is a small anterior translation in my angle in my posture that is i'm coming forward to you so what happens i should not fall so as a result my angle synergy starts and how does it start it activates a muscle in the angle region which muscle should be activated so that i don't fall anteriorly is it the tibialis anterior no of course not it should be the back muscle the calf muscle so the gastronomous muscle gets activated it controls the motion no you are not allowed to fall down then immediately after that the muscles in the hamstring region biceps femoris get activated so ankle thigh region gets activated and then my erector spinae which is the muscle in my trunk region the posterior part of the trunk region gets activated so it's a posterior sequence of activation starts from the gastronomers start from the bicep femoris and then the trunk so that i'm back again into my state of equilibrium if there is a perturbation to the back side, I'm going backward. What happens? The muscle in the anterior compartment of the leg, that is a tibialis anterior, activates, followed by the quadriceps, the biceps femoris, sorry, the quad, the rectus femoris in the quadriceps gets activated, followed by the rectus abdominis in the thigh get activated. So all this activates so that they keep a check on the anterior part. So I don't feel backwards. So each of this motion, the peculiarity is that each of this motion starts at the angle joint. So that is known as the angle synergy. So I hope that's clear with the angle synergy. Angle synergy is the simplest of all the synergy. It activates when there is a minimal postural sway. It activates in the direction of proximal, distal to proximal direction. The sequence is followed in a way in that the muscles in the angle gets activated first, thigh gets activated second and then the trunk gets activated third it can be converted or compared to an inverted pendulum model where the anchoring is at the lower bottom or in the ground level and an example is either a posterior translation or an anterior translation that can give you good marks in angle synergy but if the question is define different explain different synergies or synergy strategies in the body you need to explain the hip one so the hip one occurs in a scenario in which when the perturbation is a bit more high, when somebody pushes you or when there is a great amount of postural sway happening, then the hip synergy gets activated because angle is the simplest one and it cannot control the posture. So that time hip synergy gets activated. In hip synergy, the peculiarity is that it is from the proximal to distal part it activates or it starts from the proximal region the top region the closest part to the body to the distal one not from the distal to proximal so when there is a postural sway the abdominal muscles get activated first followed by the thigh muscles followed by the ankle muscles if needed so this is known as a hip synergy in which there is a great amount of postural sway or a perturbation or when your base of body is very small, when you're standing in a very small confined space, there is very less movement that is possible within the base of support. In such circumstances, what happens is your hip synergy activates. So hip synergy can activate in two different scenarios one is when there is a high postural sway or a perturbation or when there is very small confined base of support it is activated from the proximal region to the distal region the muscle activation sequence is from the abdominal muscle thigh muscles and then the angle muscle that is how the postural controls happens in the hip synergy pattern it is equivalent to or compared to a multi-link pendulum model so in an inverted pendulum model the movement is taking place from the anchoring base in such a way here the base or the anchoring region is in the hip 
and movement takes place to the lower limb and movement takes place to the upper limb so it can be compared to as a multi link pendulum model let's take an example so the same example i'm moving anteriorly i have an anterior translation or a postural sway the hip synergy is getting activated so which muscle would be activated first any guess I'm moving anteriorly, so it should control from the posterior part. So my erector spinae will be activated first, followed by my hamstring and if required, my ankle muscle. If I'm moving backwards, my erector abdominis will activate first, followed by my thigh muscle and then my ankle muscle if required. So that is hip synergy activates when there is greater for postural sway or when the base of support is very min very minimal and it directs from distal to proximal direction it can be converted or it can be equivalent to compared to an in multi link pendulum model muscle activation sequence is from the trunk muscle thigh muscles and to the ankle muscle and then example can give you good marks in hip synergy and the last one of today's discussion is a combined synergy because we know that the body is a kinetic chain not just a single isolated movement is very minimal in human but because there are large number of system joints and muscles involved so mostly what happens in human body is that there is a combination of angle and hip synergy as and when required sometimes a small perturbation can lead to a large amount of changes in the body or a perturbation which is very small can happen and then it can dissipate large amount of movements in the body so all these scenarios hip and ankle synergy combines together that is activation takes place in the hip region and activation also takes place in the ankle region both the synergy pattern individually do not work but they work as a combined one both the synergy acts at that moment then it at that time the synergy is known as the combined synergy so there are three synergy pattern ankle synergy hip synergy and the combined synergy and in this area you need to also remember what is postural say with that we conclude this video i'll see you next week with another video in biomechanics